it is super hot in my room my ac is not working and i don't want my the sound from my fan to like the stop the audio of this video so i'm not even going to wear a wig we are going to shoot this video like this because i'm super excited to like shoot this video so let's do it hi buddies welcome back to adulting with bella my name is isabella awan i'm a strategy consultant and a youtuber based in lagos nigeria if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to my channel but if this is the first time of watching any of my videos or you're just yet to subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for please go ahead and hit on the red subscribe button thereafter click on the notification bell just beside the red subscribe button so that you can be among the first to get notifications of my videos whenever i drop them now i'm very excited for today's topic because it is something that i have had on my radar for a while now and i'm super excited to finally get to release it i will be taking you on an investment adventure of a young beautiful nigeria girl called kokuma now kokuma is a typical example of you and i and all of a sudden she's interested in investment she's been hearing a lot about investing and she has decided to embark on this joining however i want to take you beautiful and handsome buddies along in this investment journey so don't touch that dial stay to the end of this video <laughs> with giving a brief summary of Kokoma um, financial background and history. Kokoma is a 25 year old Nigerian girl that hails from Cross River State. Kokoma finished NYIC about three years ago. Now she got a job that started out paying her about 120k. About two weeks ago, her promotion was announced and she now earns about 200,000 naira. So because of that, Kokoma has been thinking of investing the additional money she has gotten from her promotion instead of using it to upgrade her lifestyle. Kokoma has gone through different phases of her investment journey and right now she has decided to share her story with you. And before you people start coming for me, this is not my story. Like, this is, I am not Kokoma, I am Makamba. Please, don't call for me. This is a fictional story, please. If you guys should not call for me, this is not my reality. I am not Coco. My, my name is Makamba. So please, let's focus on the story. Thank you. God bless you. Now back to Coco Ma's story. Coco Ma has received her first um, promotional paycheck. So the first 200K gross paycheck. And actually, she didn't receive 200K. She received about 100 and 70k 30k has gone into taxes and other deductions so what kokoma has in her bank account is 170k how is kokoma going to start an investment journey with 170k the first thing kokoma did was to understand her financial background now understanding her financial background entails one understanding how much she actually gets in her bank account every month which she has discovered to be about 170,000. Google Kokoma also understand how much she spends on transportation on a daily basis and translates that to monthly spend on transportation. Google Kokoma also understand what she spends on feeding, electricity bill, all of that, what she plans to save, what she will pay tight with, if she has black taxes, she makes budget for that, maybe 10K every month or 5K every month to sort out black taxes. So she lays out all this foundation of her finances to understand her financial living situation. The second thing Kokoma did after understanding her financial situation is to make sure she clears her debt. Now, in the process of getting her new apartment, Kokoma had actually taken on some debt from a friend. This was because to get a new apartment in Lagos, you spend almost additional like 300 to 400K in like apartment hunt, um, furnishing the apartment, uh, 
getting paying the agent and all those ridiculous things she has decided that every month she's going to take out 30k to pay for her debt this invariably means that we come out would spend 10 months clearing off that debt now fast forward to 10 months later where kokuma is done with paying her debt what does she do next now since kokuma is already used to the lifestyle of taking out 50k from her salary for like servicing debt and savings what kokuma did after she was done paying the debt was to take the full 50k into her savings kokuma was saving for something i call the emergency fund now i'm planning to talk about emergency fund like in a as a whole in a new video but i'm just going to give you um, a tip of what emergency fund is so basically emergency fund is just um, a money you've saved up somewhere in case of emergency just as the name implies so this is money that you keep to spend for like medical conditions lost of job for example you lose your job and you're not any money or you're sick and you cannot earn money or there's an economic downturn for example during the lockdown where people were not working that's an example of a situation where you can spend your emergency fund now it is always recommended that you have about three to six months of your monthly spend in your emergency fund and kokoma is opting for the six months so she is going to save about 600,000 because her monthly spend is about 100,000 naira. So it would take Okoma about 18 months to be finally ready to think about investment. Now, do not forget that the fact that she's saving with Picky Vest, she has about 10% um, interest per annum. So that money is definitely going to be more than 600k. I'm going to put the link to my savings video in the description box down below so just click on that description and like click on the link and go watch it and i'm also going to tag it somewhere somewhere but these are my two savings video and i think you should absolutely watch that remember kokomba has a corporate job and part of her deductions um from her 200k salary that brought it down to 170k is taxes and her pension contribution now let's talk about the pension contribution for a minute basically a monthly weekly or whatever time period contribution that is held in an account called the retirement savings account the rsa and this account is held for you by the psa the pension fund administrator now you only have access to this money either when you retire or when you are 50 whichever comes first about eight percent of kokoma salary is put in this savings so the eight percent of two hundred thousand is actually put into this savings while her employer actually puts ten percent so kokoma has like eighteen percent of her gross salary going into her pension fund every single month so that is her first investment account. When Kokoma suddenly realized that, oh, she already has an investment account going on somewhere for her. So she's consciously tracking her pension funds and she knows that she has a certain amount. She knows the interest she's getting on those pension funds and she has even estimated how much she would have um following her current trajectory so she knows where she stands in her pension now she's also interested in other form of investing that is where the main investing for kokoma starts you know what let's go on a quick break and don't touch that down we will come back with the main story that you want to hear mm -hmm. 